My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, we meditated yesterday on the experience of the disciples who traveled to Emmaus. Their hearts were burning when the Lord was explaining to them the scriptures. They recognized the Lord at the breaking of the bread. They immediately returned to Jerusalem and narrated to the other disciples about what happened, about their experience. As they were still talking about all this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, the greatest gift of the risen Lord is peace, forgiveness. During the season of Easter, again and again, we will hear these words addressed to us. Not only we receive peace from the Lord, we have to share the peace with our brothers and sisters. Peace is not merely absence of quarrel. It is presence of joy and above all justice. May we communicate the same peace of the risen Lord. The risen Lord did not scold the disciples for deserting him, but then he forgave them unconditionally and called them for a new, meaningful, joyful life. The disciples, when they saw Jesus, were really astounded agitated and Jesus reassures them do not think that I am a ghost I am truly risen come on look at my hands look at my feet and then he goes a step further do you have something to eat and then they offered him a piece of grilled fish and he took it and ate before their eyes yes the Lord is truly risen in addition he also enlightened them once again, pointing out how the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms all spoke about him and what is written in them is fulfilled in him. He opened their minds to understand the scriptures. Once you understand the risen Lord, accept the risen Lord, what are you to do? You need to be converted. You need to repent and then bring many others to trust in the Lord by proclaiming to them the message of resurrection. This is what Peter does in today's first reading. After Peter healed the lame man, everyone came running towards Peter and John in great excitement. And Peter makes it clear, the healing experienced by this man is not due to our effort or piety. It is because of faith in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then Peter points out to them how they betrayed the Lord, gave up the Lord, while Pilate himself wanted to save Jesus, how they wanted Barabbas to be released in place of Jesus. Even now, everything is not over. You did all this out of ignorance. Now there is a future for you. You need to repent. If you repent, your sins will be forgiven. You will have refreshment. My dear brothers and sisters, we all also can identify ourselves with those Jerusalemites who were responsible in a way for Jesus' death. But there is a future for us. We need to repent. We need to listen to the word of God. We need to give up our wicked ways. Then there will be meaning to our faith in the risen Lord and we will proclaim the risen Lord through our life and conduct. May the risen Lord Make us experience peace by a life that is truly loyal to Him, by a life that is rooted in the Word of God, by a life that experiences conversion and invites others to conversion. Amen.